Hi folks, I'm Jim. I'm one of the product engineers here at CX Tech and I'm here today to talk to you about the Cisco 2960S switch family. It's a little uh, newer and different than the older 2960s and 2960Gs. Just want to give you a heads up as to what the differences are. You can see over on the right hand side of the screen we have a front shot and a back shot. The front they pretty much look like any other switch. There is uh, 24 and 48 port versions of them. On the back you'll see something a little bit different. Uh, they actually have some stacking capability. Now in general the 2960S's are layer 2 just like their older brothers the 2960G's and the 2960's and they have the same software feature set choices. You have a choice of LAN base that's the, the most common one that has the full feature set. Uh, when you look at the part numbers of those switches they end in dash L or uh, there's also the dumbed down LAN light version that ends in a dash S. They take away some performance features and some capabilities uh, that the LAN base has. Uh, both of the switches, like I said, have 24 or 48 ports. Uh, one of the upgrades in the S series compared to the older switches, at now the copper ports are all gigabit. Previously they were either gigabit or 10100. Uh, also, you'll notice if you look at a list of all the part numbers of the varieties of the 2960S, you have a choice of uplinks. You have a choice of gigabit SFP, and if you look at the part number, there'll be an S in the part number to indicate that. Or there's also, it's new for this series, 10 gigabit SFP pluses are a choice, and there you can tell by the part number it'll have a D in it. Also note that the uh, 10 gig SFP plus ports are backwards compatible to 1 gig. So if you don't know which you're going to need, uh, maybe you spend a little bit more money and go with the 10 gig one so that you can handle either and you got a path for growth. Okay, now on to the next slide. So uh, one of the things that the 2960 has been famous for over the years is that it can also do power over Ethernet. We call that power over E for short. Uh, as time has gone on, there's been more uh, need from customers to do power over Ethernet and in higher quantities. So Cisco has kind of attacked that with the S-Series, giving you two different levels of PoE. In the 24 ports, there's only one choice. It's 370 watts. Uh, and by the way, you can tell on the part number whether it's a PoE switch or not by having a P in the part number. Uh, the 370 watt uh, variant is available on the 24 port and it's the only amount that it can do and that's enough to give you 24 ports of class 3 802.3AF PoE so all ports simultaneously going along at that level. Uh, also note that these uh, series switches support the newer 802.3AT standard which has a maximum of 30 watts per port you just can't do that on all ports simultaneously. So that's something to keep uh, in your mind. The 48 ports, you'll see a little differentiation in the part numbers in that there are actually two different PoE levels. The standard 370 watts, which I mentioned before for the 24 port models. But because there's twice as many ports, they've also come out with a 740 watt variant that will allow you to do 48 ports simultaneously, again, of class 3 802.3AF. And the 48 port model is also 802.3AT compatible, again, just not all ports at the same time. One of the other newer features for the S series switch, and that's probably where the S and the part number comes from, is that they are now stackable. That's the first 2960 series switch that has that kind of capability sort of like its bigger brother, the 3750 series switch, but because this is a lower level switch, some of the you know, stacking capabilities aren't quite as fancy. Uh, number one, the stackable capability is actually optional. If you just buy a 2960 S series switch, it will not come with that stacking feature. There is a separate module that you have to buy that plugs in the back. And you can look at the lower right hand picture of the back of the switches. On the left hand side, you can see the modules and the stacking cables all plugged in. Uh, Another thing to bear in mind is if you decide to try to use the more economical model with a LAN light software feature set, you will not be able to use the stacking capability. That is one of the features that has been taken away. So in short, if you need to stack, you have to buy the LAN base feature set that ends in dash L. The plug-in module, like I said, itself is a separate option. You can see the part number C2960S-stack on the screen here. 
when you buy the stacking module, it comes with a stacking cable. And uh, unlike its brother, the 3750, that can stack nine tall, the 2960S can only stack four tall, but that is definitely an advantage over the older versions that couldn't stack at all. I hope that uh, you appreciate this. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day.